In this video, we are going to see how to set up an email trigger for your survey. There are two ways you can use an email trigger. One, to send an email to respondents as soon as they complete your surveys, or two, to trigger an email when the condition you have specified has been met. To add an email trigger, here's what you need to do. Go to Advanced Options and select Email Trigger. By default, this will trigger an email to respondents who complete your survey. Optionally, you can add a condition to trigger an email. To show you an example, I have created a rating question on my survey and I want to thank those respondents who gave me a rating above 7. To do this, I need to add a condition. Here's how. Click on Add Condition. Select the rating question against if. Select greater than. Select 7. With this condition, an email is triggered to respondents who give a rating above 7. Next, fill out the To field. Type in email addresses or insert a variable to pipe the email address of your respondents. To pipe an email address, you must include an email text box question in your survey. Click Insert Variable and select the email question. Next, type your subject line. Next, type your message in the message box and you can also choose to insert a variable. You can select one of these two variables to use in your message. The first is the All Responses variable. When you select this variable, the recipient receives all his answers to your survey in the email. The second is the question variable. Select a question from the list to include in the email message. For example, you could type out a message and include the rating question. The email will contain the message and the recipient's answer to the rating question on your survey. When you're done, click Save Trigger.